Welcome to this oops video playing PAX. Yeah, I could have played C4, why not? Maybe you should do that more often to get more variety in the openings. So Paxi is the opponent from Finland. We got a Benoni going for bishop f4. That's a line that I think is quite quite good. But um, I should study it more already. I only know the general outlines, but not any uh, big details. Big details? That's wrong. Any um, sufficient details? Yeah, that's probably a better, better way of phrasing it. So how is this played? It's going for b5. Maybe I can still play some normal looking moves. Queen e7. Hmm. Hmm. So he's out for b5 and maybe bishop c3. Yeah? Maybe this is really something that he wants to do. Hmm. Okay, let's protect this. Interesting, not something I expected very much. I thought a b, but okay, it's got knight d4 as a possible option, so I think I'm going to take and now rook a7. Let's activate that rook. Not sure if I'm threatening e5 here. Maybe I am. I think I might threaten this after a possible bishop f1 coming. The move queen f6 is, <laughs> is something that somehow keeps coming to my mind. Attacking f4 and, C, um, and uh, b2. I don't want to play bishop c1, but I'm not really sure what else to do. Okay, if he takes b2, I can uh, take rook b1 and get b5. So probably I can just go back and d6 hangs. So, okay, not a problem at all. So this is an interesting move. Rook b6. Hmm. b4 is something that I would like to play, but I don't really see after taking what my next move is. Um, maybe bishop e3 actually, bishop e3, rook moves, and bishop d4. It's an interesting, interesting idea. Let's try that. I didn't really, um, didn't really um, calculate it in much detail, but it looks interesting at least. Yeah, here I can take and go bishop d4 or bishop b5, I don't know, bishop d4 maybe. Trading that bishop and both both his pawns are weak. But he might have some counterplay against my e4 pawn. He might have, I'm not, not, really, not really sure about it. Probably some rook c8. He needs, he needs the tempo gain, I guess. Yeah, rook c8 looks very normal. Does he have anything else? Hmm. <clears throat> Take on d4. Yeah, at least my reply is easy. Yeah, this one. I thought bishop b5, I guess. Bishop b5. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see that one coming. Hmm. Yeah. 
Bishop c6 is b3 as well. Yeah, okay, let's play it. Now you have to be tactically very alert in the modern Benoni. It's really a um, strategically dubious opening, but black has got many tactical chances as we have seen here. Bishop d5, I didn't see. So do I somehow <clears throat> We get this pawn. This is what I was was hoping for, of course. Something with e5, maybe on knight c4 here. He's got knight a4. Hmm. And knight knight takes e4, of course. Hmm. Pretty awful. Maybe e5, e5, knight a4, queen b3, queen a5, rook a1, rook a8, ed6. That could be okay. Could be. I don't know, I have to play a move. Cannot, oh, cannot wait forever. He has other moves though, rook a8 or <clears throat> other uh, b2, eh? also b2. That's probably probably just good, b2. Yeah, it's not exactly a difficult move to play. Uh, yeah, and now knight a4, I guess. <clears throat> so. Just lost. Wow, bad game, bad game. Hmm. So that really didn't see that d5 was hanging. Time warning. What a shame. The only little trick here that I see is something with knight c4, knight b2, and then queen c3. This is the only thing that I see. Hmm. I see once. Hmm, knight d7. No. G4 or something, I don't know, it just lost. Aiming for queen e5 check in case of queen d3 or something, but he can go queen e4. Queen d4, okay, maybe back. C3, I can still take there. At least I'm um, um, an exchange down then. <laughs> no move. <laughs> That's crazy, but I have no I have no time and no position. The check here. Check. Ah, okay. White 
resigned. Wow, that was bad. Okay, so, oops, let's see. That looked like a pretty normal position. Rook a7, this one. Okay, so now I got, got this idea. And I really felt that this should be good for white, but yeah, the engine gives white a very big advantage, but I couldn't really, couldn't really make it work. Ah, here I've got queen c7. Huh, that's not very difficult. Forces, forces the or for sorry, forces a very awkward move. He has to go bishop c8 back, and then I'm really just better. Okay. I couldn't really believe in that that taking was right. And this is well, this was the key move that I didn't didn't think about. My idea with b4 was always to to to, um, to trade his bishop. This is why I went bishop d4. But here he has to go back. I mean he cannot go here because this is good or this is good. So after queen c7, he really yeah uh, this is. This is now just better for white. Yeah, and very obviously so. I mean, he's just passive and the pawn is weak. He can take here, try for this thing. But I can also take here. Yeah, here white is just better. My pieces are more active and yeah, black is suffering here. So this, this was the mistake, knight c5. Yeah, and now the problem is, after bishop b5, there is um, this the move that happened, and this is what I didn't see. I was thinking that here I'm better because I get a piece to c6, and then I can try to win the b4 pawn. But he just has this tactical resource, and uh, that makes the position that turns the position from um, being bad to being good. Well, I, th I didn't see bishop d5. I was thinking, okay, this bishop is terrible, but. After this, he not just wins the pawn, but also activates the bishop. And now I'm, I'm just losing. Yeah, I continued a little bit, but I don't think um, I don't think there was ever a particular opportunity for me. Just uh, trying to muddy the waters. Uh, here I could have taken f7 and draw probably. This is this this is this is a draw according to the engine. Yeah, I get both pawns, but anyway, that is really not important. I overlooked that bishop takes d5 thing. So deservedly lost this game. Thanks for watching.